What is up, my friend? We're looking at the biggest tips and tricks for interactive brokers, the mobile app. These are the questions that I wish I knew as a beginner trader that I get asked all the time. Can you help me with this? Yes, we can. Let's get into it with the basic stuff first, getting to the big money items as we move through. The first one, kicking things off is how do I get this dark mode on my trading app? How does this happen? How does it go? The light mode kills my eyes personally and I can't deal with it. So I want to have this dark mode on at all times to help me with my vision. I go into these top three little hamburger icon in the top left. We're getting in here. We're going to scroll down, going deep, going to configuration right there. What we're going to do then is scroll even deeper down all the way to the bottom, downtown Kenny Brown application theme right there. Click on that little Jimmy and you have the option to go light theme or dark theme. You're either going to be team Jedi or team Sith. Here's team Sith Lord. I'm a Darth Vader fan myself. So I like to go application theme, keep that guy on dark theme and the force may be with you here. If you want to create a watch list and you're not really sure what to add to it to get started, you're maybe just dipping your toes in the water. You can load a pre-populated watch list in interactive brokers by clicking the three dots in the top right corner. And you can then go through and go browse lists. And you can look at a bunch of different lists in the library that are pre-populated with different kind of filters. You've got ETFs, you've got cryptocurrencies. If you go down, you've got US movers, you've got active stocks. Let's put on the US movers right now. You click this little plus button. It's going to show up and say, hey, let's add this to your tabs. You've got a tab now for US movers. If we go back out here with the arrow at the top left, we're out of here. And now we have this beautiful watch list in our top left, along with the favorites that were there before. You've got US movers, which are just the stocks that have been in play, moving a lot, as you can see, percentage-wise with the change percentage. These are the big movers and shakers in the market today, starting with the negatives. And you can filter that back and forth if you want to, and then go from there. You can use that to add new watch list. If you want to get rid of this, you add it by mistake. Go back in the top three dots as well, and just go manage tabs. And you just click on this little box right here. Click that little garbage can. Oscar the Grouch is going to take it away for you. No harm, no foul. Click out, top left. It's going to ask you to save. We're going to save it. And boom, back to the single watch list right there. Your favorites on the tab. If you want to trade something that you don't see on your watch list and it's not there, you don't have to go add it to your watch list or bring it on a list. You can just trade it very simply by doing this thing. You just click on the trade button down at the bottom, pop something up, click on the quote button down here at the bottom. If you want to do that, then you click something in here and you can type something in you want to trade. Any stock, anything you want to do. Let's do Snap right now. Snapchat. That's always a good one, right? Snap, S-N-A-P, check the ticker. New York Stock Exchange, you're in. You can now go ahead and you can buy or sell shares of Snap with these buttons right here at the bottom. It's a couple clicks in. You don't have to be on the watch list to do this. Speaking of trading and making trades, if you're a chart a and you want to trade from the chart in Interactive Brokers in the mobile app, it is very simple. Click on the chart right here. Blow it up a little bit higher. Get yourself a little bit more room to see what's going on. And then click this little button here in the top right, the up and down arrows. It's going to pop up the buy and sell arrows in your app. All you have to do is drag that line up. It snaps at 969 right now, 969. Let's say we want to buy some at, oh, 913. Sure, let's put it right there. Click that buy button. It's going to take you into the order screen. So you can actually trade from the chart in your mobile app with a couple clicks. Go in there, swipe right to submit that buy order. It's going to be limit order right now. It's showing you the quantity. It's showing you the price. It's showing you the day limit, right? Everything there. If you want to do that, just like submit to buy and they'll put your order in and you're good to go. If you're one of those people though, that want to put on a profit taker or a stop loss, you can do it at this screen. This is option number one. There's also option number two, which we're going to get into in a second, but this is the way to do it from the trading screen. Some traders that I know like to do it on the open and like to put the trade in with a stop loss and a profit taker in some don't like to do it afterwards after the position has been running for a bit. But if you want to put on right now, right here, click on the attach bracket order, click on profit taker and stop loss. And you can though, and, and actually click these buttons right here to manually update the price. If you want to do so, you can go and just do 975. And let's say, let's tighten this up from eight to 850. Okay. If you want to do it that way, you can. If you want to use little plus buttons right there, you can do that as well. And just boom, 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 take those up and move them around as you see fit. You can change it from day to good to canceled. If you want to, you can change the stop loss from a stop to a stop limit order. You can't change the profit taker though. You can only be a stop order for the profit taker on the upside. This can be changed though to a stop limit order and you can add a limit price as well. Time and force day. Once those are good to go, you can slide to submit to buy this and all three orders, the initial order right here of hundred shares will go in and your profit taker and stop loss will also be attached along for the ride as well. If you wanna just put the order in though, just go ahead and turn these off and then slide to put your order in. I'm going to put the buy order in right now. It's going to tell me that it's outside of market hours right now because it's a little bit outside the market being open. So I'm going to click OK. 
And now this order is in, it's not gonna be accepted right away, but you can see this buy limit order is right there at 913 of buying 100 shares of Snap. If you wanna go ahead and set the profit taker and stop loss a different way, let's jump into the, my portfolio and show you how to do it on a different stock. So I've got 100 shares of NVIDIA right here in my account. And I wanna see where I bought those shares at because I wanna protect my gains potentially and limit my loss in this position. So I bought 100 shares. If I scroll over to my average price, I can see that I bought them at 227, right? 227 and change 76. So if I would go in and do this, I wanna put the stop loss and profit taker on from here on NVIDIA. I would click NVIDIA. I would click in the chart right there. It brings it up right here and I can go to the exit strategy and I can see that I have 8,000 and change in unrealized PNL, which is my profit if I was to close the position. So I wanna protect that at all costs, right? So go to exit strategy, click this. It's going to give you the same kind of layout with a little bit more advanced kind of tools. You can actually click and drag these stop loss, which is the red bar and the profit taker. I can put the profit taker up and let this thing run a little bit longer if I want to. And I can just tighten up this profit, this stop loss at the bottom end move that up there. If I want to do it just by clicking and dragging, I can up here. If I want to do it with the little tickers up here, I could do this as well and just go tick, 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 tick. Every time you do that, you see that your profit and your probability will also change over here. Same with the price going down. These numbers are going to update in a second. As I do this, just click down, boom, 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 boom. And your profit is going to be eroded and your stop loss is changing as you go through that as well. If you want to turn one of these off, just click these little arrows right here. If I want to let the profit go infinitely and just keep the stop loss, I'm going to click that. And I'm going to then submit this order with just a stop loss. I'm going to create the order right there. I'm going to submit it. And now I have a stop loss on this position at 308.57. It's going to stop me out if the stock price pulls back to that, which is roughly a $3, $3.40 move from where it currently is. I'll lock in those profits and this gain will be realized in my account. Now, for all my options traders out there, if you want to trade some options, we're going to go into this screen right here and look at some crazy, useful trades right here. If you want to go ahead and do this and you can't see this legacy mode in your options chain, you're only getting the new mode, which is right here at the top right. If this is what it looks like for you in your mobile app, it might be a little bit different. If you have an Apple iPhone, I have a Samsung, uh, Samsung phone, so it may be a little bit different, but this is the new kind of updated version of this uh, trading interface with the options chain. If you don't have legacy up here, if you can't revert to legacy, but you want to because that's what you've been learning with, that's how you've been doing it for the last little bit. If you cannot revert to legacy, there is one setting you have to change to get back and get this screen on all its glory before they take it away for good. Hopefully they don't, but they might. If you want to get this back, you go out of here. Let's go back. Let's go back one more time. Let's go to those three hamburgers again in the top left. We're going to go down downtown again to configuration. And then we wanna go down and just scroll, 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 baby. And we wanna go down and go show legacy options chain. If you don't have legacy options chain, it's likely that this box is not checked. So make sure you check this box. If it's unchecked like that, it will not show up in your options chain. You'll not be able to see the legacy options chain. Click that on. I know they're gonna take it away. If you wanna give some feedback and make sure that we keep the legacy version email right there. Uh, and then if you have it on, it's going to go back and you're going to be able to see legacy in your options chain again as we go through and try to trade. Let's go back to NVIDIA and take a peek again. So there it is, ready, locked, good to go. And if you're one of those people who want to use some long-term options play, you don't want the zero expires, you don't want to do short-term, 7, 14, 21 days, you want to go long-term, I'm talking like years out in advance, what are known as leaps for those call buyers. If you're a call buyer, put the stock you like to buy leaps on in the comment for this video. I love to see what you guys are trading right now. If you want to go out in time and you can get out all the way to like December of 2025, 945 days out in advance, if you want to see those expiration date and you're not seeing them right now, it's limited. It's because you have to click these three dots right here. And it's because your time period is not set to max. You have to set that to max and click that. It's probably set to one month or three months. If I do three months and go back and we'll look at what it looks like with three months on, it's only going to give me expiration dates for three months across the top. If I scroll across May, June, June, July, and a little bit into August, 91 days away, three months away. That's limiting my lot. I can't do any leaps. I can't go the 945 days. I can't go years out in advance. So go back up here, three dots, right? Change it from three months out to max, max out your expiration dates. And then when you swipe across, you'll be able to see all the different options for different leaps. And then you can go in and see what the prices are like and see what the options data is once it loads. It's a little bit slower because it's so far out in time calculating, but those are how you get the leaps to show in your options chain with interactive brokers. One other neat feature for all you options combo traders out there. If you're doing combos, you're doing strategies in the options chain, you want to be able to build those out and see how you build them with the kind of profit and loss and risk you're taking as you do it. If you don't do this, you're going to get 
a limited amount of data when you're making your trades. If I want to do a bull put spread, for example, I want to sell a call and buy a call to protect my downside. I want to sell this call at 310 for NVIDIA 20 day, days out. I'm going to click there and click sell. I can then click and buy lower on and it's going to be the red for sell, blue for buy, right? So I have a strategy built and I can go in and I can see the strategy right there. If I click on strategy, right, it's going to build it. And it's going to go in. I go into the orders chain and it'll show me all this data right there, right? If I go back out, what I want to see is this data right from the beginning. If I want to do this and see it quickly, all you have to do is make sure you turn on what's known as the strategy builder. If you want to build this out and see it in real time without having to kind of click a couple buttons more, just put this on and go ahead and just see what can happen. Now you can add stock legs through here. Or again, if I click the same buttons, I'm going to sell this put option right there. And it's going to boom. It's going to put it in this leg right here. It's going to show me my credit for doing that. 1400 bucks. That's pretty good for selling this. I want to protect my downside with buying a pull option as well to make it a full combo. I'm going to buy, right? And now it's got this kind of built in. It's showing you in the options chain, what your credit's going to be, what your legs are like. And then you can go in the order and then you can execute if you want to, but you can see this preview right on here, which is a nice feature when you're looking at different options chain or maybe switching through different expiration dates. You can go back and just see everything without having to go back and check the bid ask, the last, the delta, the theta all the time. And if the strike, you can see it all building out here live for you as a strategy builder pieces all together. And now for one of the most important things you need to know in your account as a trader, and you want to have this updating in real time, you want to know what your unrealized profit is at all times with your trades and profit and unrealized profit percentage as well. You want to add those columns for every position here. You should know if you're up or down. P&L is great. That's the daily P&L though. That's not the overall p &L. You can see that this today was a pretty good day for the market. Even though my stock account was down a little bit, there were some green dairies in here, but you want to see the overall, what your account's looking like right now. And right now my account is showing you a negative 146 K in my simulated trading account, which is because in my unrealized profit section, I've got some big losers here, A or B and B. Amazon's the big one at negative 65 K, right? Negative 100, negative 75. You want to see what your positions are at overall, not just what the PL is at for the day, but the difference between PL rate is that it's the daily PL, daily profit and loss. This is your unrealized, this is your overall since you open the position profit and loss, which is way more important right here. So if you want to see those and you don't have them in your account right now, you got to do this. You got to get up to these three dots again in the top right corner, get in there, click those three dots, go into manage columns, and I'm going to turn these off because I have them in my account right now. Anything you want to turn off in here, just click the little check marks and turn them off. Boom, boom. And if you want to add them back in, you go down to add columns down at the bottom. And you can either search for them right here by clicking on this search all columns. So I would just go in here and I would search P and the and, and symbol and then L. And then I would click go. And it's going to bring up all the different things that have that in there, the kind of a filter. Scroll down. And I can see unrealized PL and unrealized PL percentage. I'm going to click on unrealized PL, turn that on go back out and show you one other way to get there and to do it, instead of searching all columns, if you know kind of where they, it resides in these kind of pre-populated filters, I know it's in this position in PL filter right there. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna scroll down again. It's all these kind of same things in the same subset. I'm gonna click on unrealized PL percentage at the bottom, turn that on, go back out one more time. Now it's loaded in the same spot that it was at before. If you wanna click and drag these around and make it at the beginning though, you click this hamburger icon right here and we're gonna go up and we're gonna change it to the kind of top there right before we're gonna move them both up. After your position, we're gonna go unrealized PL. So it's the first thing you're gonna see in your account if we go back out. Now we've got our change for the day, our position, our unrealized PL, our percentage. We know where we're up, how much we're up percentage wise, if we're down big or not, and overall how much money we have on the table for profit or potentially losses in our account. And let's say you wanted to close out a trade as quickly as humanly possible in this trading account without a stop loss or without any kind of profit taker involved. If you just had open shares right now, you want to get out of your trade and just sh and shred them from your position. Let's say this Netflix trade where I'm up a thousand dollars, right? I want to go ahead and lock in that profit right now. I want to do it super fast on those 50 shares. What I can do is just click on that position, click on Netflix, click on the chart right there to open up my order entry panel. And I just have to click this one button. I can see my unrealized penal. I want to protect that at all costs. I want to get out of this trade and lock in that profit very, very quickly. So it's one click into here. Then it's one click on close position and it's going to pre-populate my entire position that I currently own, which is 50 shares. When we click this, it's going to put it in right there into the order entry for me. It's going to give me a limit order, limit price, day, all that stuff. I don't have to do any of this. I don't have to do any of this. 
All I need to do if I really want to get this filled right away is change limit order to market order with this little drop down. If I want to do that, I can go market order and then I can slide to submit and boom, this is going to be in and the trade's going to execute when the market's open instantaneously at a price right around that price that uh, it's currently trading at. You can use a limit order if you want to do so, but it's, it's a couple of clicks again to do this. It's just clicking in here, click close position and getting the deal done, getting it off in a couple of clicks, like literally a couple seconds. If you're a day trader, this is one thing you know how to do in the Interactive Brokers mobile app. And these are the big things that I wish I knew as a beginner trader doing this from my phone. It would have been so helpful. So hopefully you guys got some value from at least one of these today. And if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a heck of a lot to me. Thank you for watching the videos. I do really appreciate you stopping by. My name is Andrew. I do all things interactive brokers, the mobile app, trader workstation, stock investing, stock options, a little bit of trading view tutorials as well here, and just trying to teach and help people grow their investing accounts and keep investing in themselves. Thank you for watching. I will catch you on the next one.